Hello everyone, today we're diving into an exciting new artificial intelligence and computer vision, Meta's segment Anything Model 2 or SAM 2. Following up on the groundbreaking success of the original segment Anything Model, SAM 2 takes object segmentation to a whole new level. This next generation AI model is designed to handle real-time, promptable object segmentation in both images and videos, achieving state-of-the-art performance. Whether you're a content creator looking to add stunning effects to your videos, a researcher tracking cell movements under a microscope, or an engineer developing autonomous vehicle systems, SAM2 has something to offer. What sets SAM2 apart is its sophisticated architecture, featuring a memory mechanism that allows it to recall previously processed information across video frames. This enables accurate and efficient segmentation, even in challenging scenarios like occlusions and reappearances, and let's not forget about the massive SAV dataset that comes with it, over 51,000 real-world videos and more than 600,000 masklets, all open source to fuel further innovation in the field. Best of all, SAM2 is open source. Meta has released the code and model weights under the Apache 2.0 license, making it accessible to everyone from hobbyists to researchers. So we are going to see how to implement SAM2 in Comfy UI, and I will run some examples in this video using SAM2. Let's get started. Okay, so we are going to try out how to run the segment Anything Models 2 in Comfy UI. Of course, normally we are not going to use this for tracking bacteria, like what is mentioned in the research paper. Normal people are not going to be tracking bacteria or collecting scientific data using segment Anything. Rather, we are mostly using it for videos, animations, or image editing. We will check out how to do that using Comfy UI. Right here, we have the Comfy UI segment Anything 2 Custom Nodes Pack. This is a new release that supports segment Anything 2. As you can see, there is support for both images and videos. You can track an object or a specific part of a character in a video or a specific object in an image. You can download Segment Anything from the Hugging Face link provided, and I will link this in the video description below. You will be placing the downloaded models in the ComfyUI Models folder. In the Models folder, create a subfolder called SAM2, which I will show you in this example. Go to ComfyUI. You have the Models folder, and inside the Models folder, create a SAM2 subfolder. Download the Base Plus models for Segment Anything 2 into this subfolder. I'm going to run the base plus two models in these videos and we will try out something that collaborates with other custom nodes and large language models to segment objects or identify any objects in videos for tracking. Then we can do some video or image editing. I will show that in the examples as well. So go to Comfy UI. We have a blank page like this. Go to the manager, click custom nodes manager and search for SAM2 or Segment Anything. Just search for SAM2 and you will find the Comfy UI SAM2 Segment Anything 2. This is another developer created Segment Anything 2. Search for the full keyword and there you go. We have the Segment Anything 2 created by KJ. This is going to be our video tutorial on using Segment Anything 2. So, I have downloaded this already. Click install, and once downloaded, restart Comfy UI and download the models as I mentioned into your folder. Once finished, you will see a blank screen again. Then you can load up Segment Anything 2 to play around with. I ran this workflow two days ago. I tried it out already and posted it in Patreon groups that are doing video object tracking in videos and images, and it works. I also found out that it can do multiple object tracking by identifying different numbers here. So what it does is use Florence 2. I've mentioned Florence 2, a vision-enabled large language model created by Microsoft for reading images and videos. It's like Clip, a vision-enabled large language model that can identify objects in images and videos. Once created, we can use captions for phrase grounding. Select this test and we are ready to segment objects. For example, I have an image of fruit on a table, and I want to segment only the oranges. As you can see, there are two oranges here. One is whole, and the other is chopped in half. 
I type orange in the segment keywords here and it identifies those regions using a bounding box. This is the work of Florence too. So, there's one whole orange and another chopped in half. It identifies two regions and passes this data as an array of object locations to something called coordinates. We use the coordinates to identify which objects belong to which regions. Once we have the segment anything custom nodes here, we can locate the coordinates using this line connection from Florence 2 and pass those data into the Florence 2 models. Remember, when using segmentation for images, select single image. If you are doing it for videos, select videos in this option here. Once done, we retrieve the data from the Florence 2 data connections here, pass it to the Florence 2 coordinates, and finally, we receive these coordinates from Florence 2 for the segment Anything 2 processing custom nodes. We will then get the display of the tracking objects. In this case, it is index 0. Index 0 corresponds to the object 0 point orange from Florence 2. And it is able to track the objects in the final output of segment Anything 2 here. So it is not only the bounding box that has a region square around the objects, segment anything is able to highlight only those objects without interference from other things going on around them. The second object is the other orange. We are going to collect that data by index 1. Using the index 1 coordinate, we pass it to segment anything 2. This is another custom node for retrieving the index 1 data and using it to display our second orange in this image. I have also used video combined because I was playing around with videos as well. You can use image preview or something like that. This is one example of tracking objects in an image. Now let's try an example where we track an object in a video. For instance, you can change these connections to load videos. Here, I have two dancers performing a dance move. These two male dancers can be tracked individually. In the Florence 2 here, first, we have to define the two dancers. For loading videos, we just set a frame cap here for demo purposes, loading short clips. Once it's done, we go back to the segment Anything Models Loader. We select videos for the segmenter type and check one more time to ensure there are no other settings. Then we can click Q prompt and see the results. Here we get the first result from Florence 2. It is able to track two dancers using the bounding box. There is Dancer 1 and Dancer 2, and it can locate the labels for each bounding box. It then passes these bounding box locations, called data coordinates, to the output of Florence 2. Once it receives those lists of data, we can use Segment Anything 2 to identify Index 0, which is the character in the front. As you can see, the character is already identified by segment anything too. Even as the character moves and jumps around, it is able to highlight the character accurately without the bounding box overlapping or any outline that is not part of the character. This model has improved a lot compared to the previous versions of segment anything. The second character, the one behind, is also highlighted in blue. It is able to track multiple objects at one time. That's why they say this segment anything too is trained for videos and can even track bacteria in a microscope. So that's how you do that for videos in segment anything too in this scenario. You can also use it for your AI videos, AI animations, and track objects to make changes using what you normally do for segmentation masks. The output is a mask region and you can use it just like a normal mask. The shape of the mask is very sharp and accurate, focusing only on the object without over-outlining other parts. This model has improved a lot compared to the first segment Anything. We can also try using Segment Anything 2 with Animate Diff, which is more flexible for identifying objects. So, 
Here I load my other workflow. Actually, this is a simplified animate diff V2V workflow based on my previous work. I cut off some unnecessary elements and focused on using animate diff and running two sampler path groups, sampler one and sampler two. The main thing I want to do is use segment anything two and Florence two to perform multiple segments in this workflow. Right here, we are handling two objects. Again, I'm using the same video of the two dancers and I am going to run it one more time using the same video. We will use the mask of each dancer and restyle it using IP adapter. There's a mask object one and another called mask object two. After finishing the IP adapter data, we pass the output data to our animate diff and run it as AI animations using two sampling groups. It's pretty simple. So yeah, let's try this one. Here is the result for this animation. We have two characters and both are changing. The outfits of both characters change as well as the hairstyles and faces using the IP adapter. Of course, I have character one highlighted as object one in segment anything. I'm using this golden dress lady for object one and this black suit Michael Jackson like style for object two. We are using the same technique of tracking as shown in the first workflow. We are tracking the dancers and counting two objects here. If you don't have two objects, you have to bypass one of the Florence 2 coordinates and segment anything for the second object. If you have only one, you only use this part. That's it. That's the whole process of how it runs. We use the IP adapter to restyle those characters based on the tracking and place that on the mask area. Here, we have the mask areas of those character tracks. I use the growth map mask with blur to grow the shape of the mask a little and blur it, giving the AI more freedom to change the character styles without the influence of line art too much. So that's how you can use segment anything too. This technique is similar to the previous segment anything models I use for animating, except it's better at doing multiple segmentation tracking. Previously, I did the same AI animations using this slide dance video, tracking two characters. But I had to create two segmentation models with the older versions to track two characters dancing. Now, we can use one segmentation model and handle two lists of arrays from Florence 2. Here is the list of coordinates for index 0 and here's the index 1. It is more data, but the size of the loading data saves a lot of memory. By using just one segmentation model, we can do multiple tracking at the same time. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys get some inspiration on how to use Segment Anything 2, the latest models, for video tracking and image tracking. It is very flexible and can be used for multiple objects at the same time. That's it for this video. The workflows will be posted in my Patreon group. The SAM2 video tracking workflow is a freebie for everyone so you guys can check it out. I will see you in the next video. Have a nice day. See ya.